Good morning, everybody. Afternoon or evening, whatever time you're receiving this video. This is Ish, Issues, Coach Ish, whatever you want to call me. Uh, we're going to talk a little hip hop right now. So, <laughs> Melly Mel, Melly Mel, Melly Mel literally eats his words. Has to eat his words. And the reason why I say that is because I was scrolling back looking through a lot of his interviews different things or whatever and um you know uh you know it's it's, it's when, you, when you get out there in that public sphere right when you get out there in that in, 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 in the public sphere right and you start just talking just talking making proclamations and claims you know what i mean for for clicks likes and all that it's like you gotta you gotta stand on it you gotta stand on it and uh yeah he, he ate his words he ate his words because i was watching one interview well first of all i'm talking about the melly mel apology melly mel eats his words by apologizing to eminem <laughs> Saying things like he, he, you know, he respects his his prowess as an MC and this and that, whatever. Well, I mean, if you did respect his prowess as an MC, then you wouldn't have came out your mouth and said the things that you said, right? You know, even when he said, uh, "I'll beat Eminem easily," it'd be the easiest thing I've ever done. You said you could. Easily beat Eminem in a battle. Easy. It would be, the, and it would be the easiest thing I ever did. Prove that wrong. You know, um, you know his 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 delivery, his bars, his mechanics as an MC. Um, even in that interview, he said a lot of things that were contradictory. Well, not, not contradictory, well, some things that are contradictory, like the one thing he said, I don't pray, you know, but the one thing I do pray for is stand me up next to these dudes and just see who the legend and who's not. I don't, I don't pray, but the one thing that I did pray, just stand me up next to these guys. Then you're going to see who they are, then you're going to see who they ain't. You're going to see who they not. And, and I ain't even going to have to say a rhyme, just stand me there. Then you're going to see a legend compared to who you think a legend is. Then you're going to see a, a true legend. And all I got to do is stand there. Because, my, 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 like I said, my mechanics and my knowledge of hip-hop, my delivery, whatever I'm going to bring to the table is top-notch. Why you hurt? Why you mad? Now you look bad. Like a roach just crawled out of your book bag. In a pack clad, you lack clad. Go to bed with no supper because you got to suffer the backlash. <laughs> That's that, um, you know, um, you can't expect, and I spoke on this last video, you can't, you can't, you gotta, you gotta keep yourself fresh, man, it's part of, it's part of hip-hop, being fresh, you know what I'm saying, and if you ain't keeping yourself fresh, updating the flows, and practicing on your skills, you can't jump out there in the water with some sharks, man, so, he had to walk back his words, eat his words, apologize to him, um, which that's the first time I've ever even seen. I can't even think of another MC who wrote a diss record and they had to turn around and apologize for, for the 
just reckless bro and really what it came down to was that you know he didn't even he didn't even have to he didn't even have to uh <laughs> it was probably was the smartest thing to do because we all know how eminem works you know what i'm saying eminem he gonna write a song he gonna write a verse he gonna start off with just writing a line in a song then that song would turn into another song and then another song then he would just continue to dish song after song after song after song you know what i'm saying because he ain't got nothing else to do he can already accomplish everything he needs to accomplish in music so now you know it seems like he just get bored until he gets subject matter to write about you know what i'm saying and uh and just go in you know what i mean um, he, didn't, he didn't kill MGK, he overkilled MGK, overkilled him, you know what I'm saying? So Melly Mel was, was headed for that same fate, and, um, and it would have been even worse for him because the public had already started Eminem's work, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was killing Melly Mel for that track, kill him, you know what I'm saying? Why? Because, you know, like you said, I don't even, I don't even write like that no more. Well, you know, uh, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. That's what everything. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. If you're a boxer and you're not in the gym, working out, training, Floyd Mayweather is, is able to still put on these boxing exhibitions on box people because he's always in the gym he's always training he's always updating his skill set you know what i'm saying uh, a lot of the dudes that play in the big three basketball joint you know what i mean um they still be in the gym they still be working out they still be training you know uh hip-hop artists like krs1 and, and, and big daddy kane you know what i'm saying uh they still, they still be rhyming, they still be writing, they still be performing, they, they never stop. So, you know, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. It's just the bottom line. So, you know, it is what it is, you know what I mean? It is what it is. He bit off more than he could chew uh, and he paid for it. And then on top of that, I seen another video where he was getting, I don't know if that's an old video or not, but he was getting arrested for beating up some, 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 some lady. Okay, Jordan, let's go. He's a jerk, and he f***ing a corny up, y'all. I'm just telling you, and I'm not no viral or nothing. I'm an honest person, and I love love, and I love being the love. But this man hates me, and he wants to go to jail. It's not a to help me and come to... I don't know if the video is old or not, but yo, a lot of these um, pioneers of hip hop, like I, I respect the pioneers of hip hop, but a lot of these niggas be into some wild stuff, man. They be into some wild stuff. Uh, you look at, um, you know, that particular issue. Like if you look back at a lot of, a lot of the pioneers in hip hop, you know, of course we got African Bambada. You know what I'm saying? And his scandal. Um, look at Russell Simmons. You know what I'm saying? He, he got some scandals going on. That's why he's been quiet and off somewhere in another country or something like that. You know what I mean? Melly Mel. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of dudes, man. You look back. And um, a, lot of, a lot of nefarious activity. You know what I mean? But... You know, I, I don't I don't know all the facts on that case, whatever the case may be. I just seen a video of him getting handcuffed and there was a lady on there, she was talking or whatever the case may be about, you know, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Could be Roy Rage too. You know what I'm saying? If he if he if he on them roids, if he on them roids, could be Roy Rage. Chris Benoit killed his whole family on Roy Rage, you know what I mean? So it could be Roy Rage. Could be. You know what I'm saying? I look at his body at 60 some years old. Uh, I, mean, I ain't gonna speculate or whatever the case may be. I ain't even gonna touch on that. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people allege that, you know.
know the man is on roids. What I know for fitness and training and all that kind of stuff, whatever the case may be, bodybuilding and all that. You know what I mean? It's definitely a possibility. You know, but who's a set? You know who's a set? I know, you know, putting your hands on females is not it's not a good thing for anybody, especially if you you trying to uplift uh positivity within the culture and all this other stuff or whatever the case may be. So so yeah, back to the main subject, you know what I'm saying, the apology. Uh you know, bit off more than you can chew, threw in the white flag, threw in the towel. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll see what happens from here. I think it's pretty much over with at this point. Uh, you know, and um, I guess the statement that he made, you know, beating them and them in the battle is the easiest thing that he'll ever do. It looks like. <laughs> but you gotta be careful what you say in that public spectrum, man. You gotta be careful, careful, careful. You know what I'm saying? credit what credit is due and um, stay humble everybody stay humble you know because in that same interview he's I'm the greatest and I'm this and I'm that you know what I'm saying God is the greatest homie you know what I'm saying stay humble man stay humble no matter what you do stay humble no matter what you achieve stay humble stay humble because if you don't God will humble that's just the bottom line. You know what I mean? Like, comment, subscribe. Let's talk about it. All right? Peace.